Yeah, that's what they're saying at, at uh, the location I'm at. They have paid off evictions, but they're telling me that they cut the, the program. For years, people have been dishonest and sabotaging services for me, and then say that they cut programs, but they're blatant lies. So the housing program services. was cut two Tuesdays ago? Well, they lied to me prior to it getting cut. So I was basically lied to, and then now I'm being told that it's cut, but their services are being cut all over the place. I think it's blatant lies to keep the services. And if you serve, you got the felony charge. Okay. So I'm happy that you think that you might have. I don't know who you are, sir. I don't know who supervisors get forced on me. And in some kind of way, I don't get services that supervisors doesn't. They make it seem like they're conservators and, you know, so other people don't get charges. They're the file person. That's what it seems like these supervisors are. Okay, fine. So your main concern is housing, correct? I'm interested in housing, I'm interested in therapy, and just to be treated like a normal human being without people spending in the PBC services. Okay. 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 So, one thing you need to do today, I know you can record this and those things are in the name of the so let's we're going to update um, a few of your assessments. We're going to make some more assessments. Okay. Uh, which one is the first and tentative assessment, and then we'll consider um, those so we can work on those goals together. Okay. How long is the wedding list on the therapy? I'm sorry. How long is the wedding list on the therapy? Uh, let me find out the exact. Uh, it might not be the exact time frame, but I'll find out. I know okay. that is the wedding list. However, 
uh, when you were here last, I'm trying to remember, um, if I did not, I will make sure that I get them to you, uh, resources for possible uh, surgery. Possible. It is not going to happen. No one's going to have accountability. I have been trying to get therapy six years for hidden torture. And all places have schemes, even put me out to keep me from therapy, late resign. So when you say possible, it's a red flag that it's not going to happen. When I say possible, meaning it's not a part of image of mine, so I don't know what that process is. They want, I mean, people are committing crimes to make sure I never did it. I don't get it with MHMR, I don't get it in hospitals, I don't get therapy, period. So just would you like the resources? Of course, but I just don't understand why it's impossible with me to get services. I'm not sure. I can speak on that. I don't know. In that conspiracy, it's a felony charge. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm reading on the pre the previous uh, information. That I well, yes, I like the resources because it's traumatic to have every environment you're at, including church, conspire with your abuse. You know, and that's traumatic. Yes, ma'am. And they yes, blame yes, lives year after year, and nothing repetitive is done. Every program, every possible program was cut when I showed up. They stopped it when I walked through the door. Why do you think that's so? What, what, what I think that the police that I repetitively see in my environments are committing crimes and I listen to people in the conspiracy to violate rights crimes so I don't get help. And I think that they're listening parties to blatantly lie to keep me from services as they have been doing years. That's why I think that it is why it's impossible for me. Mm -hmm. Other people have said that they got hooked up with housing programs with MHMR, and I'm blat blatantly lied to. And then he says that they just cut it off. Well, you pretend like you didn't know the last time I talked to you about it. I believe he, he was speaking of the Department of Services. I thought but he said for, housing. They cut to it. I said I never got housing. For us housing, do you have a, a True Worth? Um, I'm at MHMR, though, now. I do. So for the housing, have you did a housing assessment at True Worth before? I'm, I'm speaking up here. Why MHMR keeps lying to me year after year? And why each location I'm at tells me to go to another location is frustrating because every location I go to tells me to go somewhere else to get services I never see. So with with one of true work and your badge, that keeps track of your homelessness, which there's a big program among um, Fort Worth. So if you keep going at least once a month, from my understanding, I go I, once a month. I go to UGM and that shows well, that I'm homeless. You and you scan in. Yes. How long have you been doing that? Um, I guess since August. August, but I've been last home, year. Yes, I've been homeless ever since February of last year. I had a false arrest and I lost everything that I had. They kept me in jail with time served, uh -huh. and I've asked, been asking for advocacy in every place I go so to. You, and I've been, you were in jail in February to August ish. Uh, no, I got out of jail off five charges in February of 2020, 2023. Okay, and I've been homeless ever since. And I keep asking for advocacy to combat multiple different false arrests, and I can't get it. So I think the police department and government officials are interrupting any help I can get at all locations, including at church. So what can we do? I don't know, because of what, everyone around me and my environment. What can we do so you don't feel like? What would help you? I have a kissy. I mean, I'm, for people to be honest and stop lying to keep me away from services. So what can we provide you so it wouldn't feel like we're lying? Well, first off, if you advocates get know about services and inform the person of services, but I haven't been able to get a normal advocate. Advocates want me to know the programs that they offer, which of course I would not know because no one's telling me. Right. So services for so services, housing services or whatever. Yeah. We've already talked about this last yes. time I yes. saw you, yes. and you never got back to me. And all about housing, any. Uh, Grand Prairie, uh, no, Arlington Housing, Dallas, uh, Denton, and Garland Housing. Any housing. Yeah, uh, any one of those. So your next question is, you are the house, period. Yeah, I'm in an abusive situation that involves the government, and had people, the government's keeping me from getting uh, any help to clean it up. Okay. Abusing power to keep me from help. In all my environments, including church. Everything is shut down. People claim 
Um, they have the place on that claim. Uh, they claim uh, that they shut down any help for evictions. All help period. She won't give me any services period. She just tells me that I can do it on my own. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the first kind of goal assessment. You can't complete it and make sure you need some new things. I don't know what I haven't been given any help information. You said last time you were going to look into it, and we're still in the same place, nowhere. We'll look into it. You said part? that you're going to look into housing, the family reunification program that people have been hiding from. I provided you, you. I provided you with the information for the family. Uh, I didn't get any information I on that. I printed it off for you, but I printed it off for you. I, I didn't get any information on that. We'll I got out um, homeless shelters. Um, domestic violence, a couple of domestic violence locations. It was not for the family reunification program. You said she had to wait on your supervisor and typing and services just to get your own place. Is that right? Yes, I do want to get my own place and just advocate. They get case management here, right? So the family can get case management here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, case management. So looks like you were referred out from ASH back in the end of February, March ish. Does that sound about right? I was, I'm sorry, I was what? So it looks like you were previously receiving services up until about two weeks ago with ASH. They weren't giving me services properly. They wouldn't even, they're supposed to give me transit mm -hmm. to uh, appointments, and they wouldn't even do that. So as as they had me riding the bus all the way there, knowing I was in a difficult situation. So and then play of, games with um, case management. Part of the services. So we're kind of in a different program right now. Right. So you're basically starting a clean slate. With okay. Me. So you guys are caseworkers and your supervisor. Right. I was communicated with you that Ash was denying services, and I'm getting violated by the government. Mm -hmm. And your supervisor. And what are you going to do about that? As an advocate, I don't think there's anything I can do at this point. As a supervisor, mm -hmm. it hasn't happened in six years. Is there what are uh, what would be things that you would help in the future? I'm not sure what your situation is. I'm happy to give you more information when I look into it. But well, in yes, time, as a, in, in as being employed with NHMR, yeah. and you're hearing that multiple parties have tried to get assistance they give other people, and that's a felony charge. Mm -hmm. As a supervisor, seeing that other people have been so the best thing to pass that along. Okay, to who? Is to who? Ultimately. Probably Paul Duncan. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I communicated with Paul Duncan, and he said he was going to give me the references that they would never give me and the advocacy that they never gave me, mm -hmm. and he did not respond back to me. And Daniel told me, he said, call the police. So, at this point, call the police time, to deal with yeah. MHMR staff misconduct and depriving me of services and the conspiracy, which is a felony charge mm -hmm. and conspiracy. He said, call the police. Who is he? Paul Duncan, who I'm, we were speaking about. I'm sorry. Um, I can't speak to what he's saying, but in the meantime, well, he didn't. Fiona, he said it through Daniel. In, in he meantime, didn't actually tell me. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we need to get your assessment done as well as your PTRP, your treatment plan. Okay, they already did it last time, but we can do it we, now. We have to. Oh, okay. No, they just did it last time. They said they have to do an assessment. There's probably multiple different assessments. Oh, okay. Get some work done. Okay, no problem. Okay. So your long-term goal. Well, but you were asking me about I, that I needed help with my daughter. I do, because each location I go to try to get help, government officials have racked up felonies to keep me away from my kids. So each place I go to get legal representation, they deny it, mm -hmm. and I believe it's controlled. Mm -hmm. It's controlled by him, correct? The the, the government. Uh, the government. Yeah, because they've racked up felonies to keep me away from my child. You're right. That is a concern that I have. And they, in fact, they arrested me at CPS in October for reporting with, with government crimes with CPS workers. So, oh, you was, that's where you was arrested? Yeah, that's I was at, right. we're no, at CPS you on my way out in Arlington because they. Because you were reporting? No, because I was blacklisted. Who told you that? Where, 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 that's what you, you just, that's why I'm repeating what you just said. I didn't say that. Oh, you're mistaken. You said you were. I was asking you who told you that. Um, I just communicated that the government officials were breaking up felonies. Okay, you said that you, you, you were didn't just hear that? In you, you didn't hear me say that. I'm okay. just making sure I heard you. Okay, because if you're going to be my case manager, we need to be on the same accord when I'm getting violated as a case manager. So, so you said because I was reporting. No, no, no. I, I'm asking you a question. That was no, you said, I just communicated. On your way out the door from CPS. I communicated Army. with you that I'm being violated by the government. Mm -hmm. And they're enlisting all my environments and psycho a lot of psychological abuse and other crimes. Yes. So when I went there, the <laughs> worker, the security guard lied and said I was trying to fight her. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did record it because the people keep lying on me. 
Okay. Right. Right. So when I told the police came out, mm -hmm. and when I told the police I was supporting it, she had a look on her face like, you know, she's playing B. Mm -hmm. So then she, the police officer tells the security guard that had just lied on me to give me a criminal suspect. But I was at CPS reporting crimes that government officials have committed to keep me away from my child, I believe, for profit. So the, they didn't want me reporting that to CPS workers, and they punished me with an arrest on my way out for criminal trespass. So you okay, okay. So, but I, I told you last time we had an appointment, and I'm telling you today that I'm getting violated by the government okay. with no okay. remedy because all people in my environment are unlisted in conspiracy. Yes. They let me just sit in it for years. For years, yes, ma'am. So let me ask you this: In the past six months, have you been to the psychiatric ward, either at JPS Central or Parkland? No. Have you been in jail in the past six months? Ninety no. days? No. Do you receive food stamps? I used to. I don't know what happened to them. They stopped them, and each um, things are interrupted. Whenever I get some help or when something happens, it gets interrupted, and someone stops it. I believe they have glitches where I'm not getting it. They've had glitches for six plus years, and I'm just repeatedly not heard. And she's a six. What's a six? Uh, so. What this risk assessment that I'm doing, one of your behavior health assessments, if it's a six or above, there's an uh, opportunity to see or connect with the nurse on a weekly basis to talk about your medicine. Talk about your medications or to get any services for if nursing is concerned. Oh, so six is like a mental ill illness mm -hmm. right here? No. What does six mean? Six, just just that. That you you have someone additional to speak with to talk to. Um more so about your medication, about your diagnosis. That's what that means. It's just open why, up I, I don't understand why it's been impossible for me to get any help with all these case managers all over the place. Uh, why I can't get, why that's been impossible. I can't speak to you now. I'm here now. But yeah, but I'm, yeah, I'm, and what's, what's being right. done? You said that you were going to find out about the family reunification program and the job search program, and then the housing. You said you didn't know, and you said it just ended two weeks ago, and then I was lied about so it before was, the housing. What I, I didn't say housing was ending two weeks ago. I was saying the supporting employment program that we have within the agency that actually got cut two Tuesdays ago. So the referral that That's was what all my people in my environment are saying. They're saying that everything is cut and blatant lies to keep me from services. So They're what, saying that at the shelter I'm at. What would help me to feel like you weren't lying and I'm giving you accurate information? Because I guess an investigation to see why people repeatedly keep doing this in all my environments, including church. Okay. Why so, would they lie to me about the eviction program and they've already paid off eviction? I, I, I'm not familiar with the eviction program. I'm just saying that as case managers, I'm not being heard as I haven't been for six years without so being violated. Now I'm six. Some kind of way, and it qualifies me for a nurse, but I can't speak with a victim's advocate for six years or can to get any kind of help to rescue me from abuse and corruption that I have was forced on me for six plus years. So, if we give you the victim advocate's phone number, would that be helpful? I don't understand why an appointment can't be set up with her and why she has an um, a, so if I, um, if I give you her ulterior phone motive number, and I give you from her system. phone number, would you be willing to speak with her? I'm just not being heard. So what, I'm, I don't hearing, know. what I'm hearing is that you're saying you're not feeling heard, but I don't know what an advocate would do because no one will advocate for me. So if, I, I feel like I'm trying to advocate for you, but by giving me asking, giving so, me a phone number, what about setting up appointments or calling? So you her? want me to call the app? The, the, I, but she, I can dial the number for you, and, but she's going to want to speak. Okay, you can be on speaker. Uh, but I mean, normally people send messages through whatever system you have to figure out what's going on, why they haven't responded. You know, that's a uh, uh, service um, method. If you hear that I'm no, getting that's violated, only if it's in 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 house. That's only if it's in house. We can only do so much. So but what? Because, nothing has been done. Period. So so Kiana, because a lot of things are confidential between you that you might. I just don't. I would. I've heard this for six years, ma'am. Is there any solutions? Period. Anything can anything be done. So I don't have to endure this in another six years. Oh, the solution for as my part is, as a case okay. manager is to provide you with the resources and referrals, and you make con make those contacts. At your what are the resources? Community. Nothing. So MHMR does nothing, period, to help people at all. You have no programs, period, to help anyone. All you do is give them medicine, and that's absolutely it. No. I provide you with, with some resources and referrals. You, yeah, but I'm asking you okay, what so MHMR does. Let me ask you a question. 
I'm, 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 I'm weak. Last time you didn't want to tell me what you did. I, and we're still the same. That's been a while ago, and we're still in the same place, and you not want me to know what you do. Well, I'm, I'm doing it right now. So I did assessment. ask you what you do. Do, I'm do. We're we're doing it right now, and that's this assessment. So okay. So one of the first questions on this assessment that we that must be done per MHMR. Mm -hmm. Just type in DIS here. So what I would definitely wish that I had is like other human beings to have people that legitimately had their best interests at heart. And not people that were playing games and scheming to not get charges for the economy of services and conspiracy year after year. Hoping that no one realizes it's intentional. I ask you to send a message to her through the email so they know how to communicate. I don't know why you have an interest in me calling for numbers. It, I don't get it a lot resolved calling on my phone, and people always want me to have numbers the hard way. You have emails where they can send over a message to her, and then we can get a response now. Why would you want her to, to have a computer the phone number? And the reason why, I, another reason. You know, I, if just, I had choices, which I, is I, obvious I'm that saying, I know, I've asked I can that you send an email, but I'm, I'm working yeah, that's what people have system, done. So I'm not going to check the email until so. after we finish with our system. Okay, that's fine. So that's, why we, that's another reason why we support Because I don't get things resolved with calling on my phone, and people love to give me numbers, and they can just communicate on the system that you guys have. Okay, that's fine. I went to the FBI and they told me to leave and call a number. I'm here. Why would you want me to leave and call a number? Okay, let's do this. Let me finish my assessment first. Your assessment. Then we can get to that. I have the number. Okay. So, so you, did you send an email? No, we'll get to that in a minute. So part of this is we need to do your evaluation first. I thought she did it. Okay. No worries. No worries. We'll get to it. So we have to do this. Do you? Are there? Do you? have any concerns about people intentionally doing things to you. Okay, so okay. it has assessment has changed and you want to know if I have um a what is ask, ask the question again? Because I just told you I have false arrest. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Do, do you have any concerns? Do I have concerns? That's not what you just said. Do you have any concerns that People are doing things to you, are conspiring to do things to you, um, against you. I'm, I'm just asking the question. Uh, yes, I have a false arrest that's recorded, yes. And then last time you said you were going to do things, you never got in contact with me again, and that your name wasn't on the system as my case manager. I never said I would contact you. Down you I asked you about the job, or what happened with the job program, and he said it just ended. Like all my environment say, yeah, all the services that I'm asking for has ended for six years. And doing that in conspiracy is a felony charge. They the eviction program ended where I'm at now. All case managers, all health period ended when I showed up. So let me ask you a question, Keon. Do you have any family or friends that you can still communicate with? I might they're scared to be around me and um friends are interrupted. They started behaving strange and distancing myself. Like I had a friend, he said that um uh, Metro PCS is billing him for phone services he don't have. Now he's behaving strangely and not really communicating with me. It's been happened years. Police used to interrupt conversations until I started uploading videos of the insanity I had to endure. They would come and say they got a call for a disturbance and interrupt me talking to people. So people knew to stay away from me because the police department terrorized me and there was absolutely no accountability for it. The top line? This is right above it. Did you ask? Um, so, so there's no yeah. way, as the MHMR staff and case managers, no way that we can get information on how to protect myself. It can't be done. I don't. Where did you get that from? I haven't been given anything to protect myself against corrupt police, any organizations, or any help. Period. Any advocacy. So Alex you know, says she's not going to go against the police. That's her main objective. So you have spoken to Alex? Yeah. She. We did a victims' compensation thing, and then she, like most. For people so in my environment. Are, so you are linked with the victim's advocate already? Yes, but she has not communicated back with me. As what, what happens is when people start helping me, then eventually it gets interrupted, mm -hmm. and then they stop communicating with me and won't return my phone calls. How many times have you tried calling her? 
Well, she was supposed to call me and get, we were supposed to meet uh, periodically, and she has not called me for our uh, meeting. When did you speak with her last? I think it was January. After we did the victim's compensation, she uh, never followed back up, and that has been a pattern. February 1st. February 13th. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it was February 13th. Mm -hmm. So it looks like crime victim's compensation was submitted on the 13th of February. And I'd assume she hasn't reached back because I'm assuming here, but I assume it's because she hasn't heard back yet. Well, here's the thing. She didn't want to go against the guy, the abuser. She was protecting him in the police department. So it was like irrelevant because she was protecting both of them. She didn't tell me how to get any kind of consequences for the abuser. She covered for him. So moving forward, that is our that is the victim's comp the the victim's advocate. I don't know who to report so, staff misconduct because I'm, every party I speak with, supervisors, so, Paul Duncan, all people in my environment are covered for the misconduct. Daniel walked off when I was speaking, but I've had him do it this year. So what would why would what Metro would have to happen? Metro what would care? Have to happen? How horrible is that for your abuser to control your mental health treatment? How toxic is that? And absolutely no accountability. Just come yeah. because he has the power to abuse. I'm going to control the mental health treatment and they will cover for me. And also conspire with psychological abuse. Yeah, no, what can we I'm do? sorry that you people in my environment don't realize how sadistic that is for a person to have to endure this six plus years. Some of the abuser controlling mental health treatment. Treatment to flee torment and abuse that they uh, that I've been put through. Well, I don't understand why I'm not being heard and people don't realize how toxic that is. You are being heard. However, as a case manager. And there's well, a lot I of misconduct that I reported and there's been no consequences for it. From my understanding, the consequences you want or for government entities and police officials, correct? What I'm uh, communicating is there's been staff misconduct with MHMR, and people aren't treating me, give, giving me proper case management, and they're lying about services that are no, that they give other people in line and telling me that they no longer have services. But I am to providing sabotage you my proper... ability to get services. I keep asking you like I did last time what services you give, and you refuse to tell me. No, I didn't refuse to tell you. I'm you, providing you with the services I stated before. We, I'm, we're providing now. We have to complete the assessments. You said that we you are referrals resource and, and referrals. And you see the provider for medication. Well, people are people. Medication. Other people are getting help with MHMR that I'm not able to get. Such as uh, if you uh, if you are refusing to tell me, I'm not going to get them because you don't want me to know them. That's not true. What what information are you wanting? Uh, the family. Actually, I still have one printed out here. Um, for it. Are you signing me up for the program to get help? There's not a sign up for that program on here. And we're trying to do your assessment so we can get to this referral portion. So initially what we have to do is your assessment. It was already done, but okay, you're, you win. So I don't have every, any control. This has to be done every three months. It hasn't been three months since the last assessment. They did it last time I was here last week and I had so to leave. Your last assessment was done. She said that he said it was an assessment the last time I was here. He said he had There's to do an assessment. There's multiple different assessments. Okay, we'll go ahead. Right. Any thoughts of death or suicide, Kim? No. Have you ever? So what I had to endure, because I was just so desperate. So my family hung up in my face, and uh, churches conspired, blatantly lied. People in my environment blatantly lied. We started arguments like they're mentally ill, but it was for the torture campaign. I was so desperate and so heartbroken and needed help, and MHMR staff would conspire with psychological abuse, torment, and play mind games under the radar. So one time I was on the phone with the supervisor, and I told what them, what can we do right I'm, now? I can't, I'm trying to communicate, oh, and you're okay. a supervisor. Okay. You're disregarding me. That's a form of psychological abuse. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So I was on the phone with the supervisor, and I, I told them I feared my safety, and she said, I'm going to hang up the phone right now. And I said, yeah, I'm on the phone with the social worker and supervisor, and I'm telling you I fear my life and you're hanging up on me? Yana, yeah, what can we do right now? I think the feds need to do something. Because if you guys are your supervisor, you if you're a supervisor and, you know, uh, and she's a case manager and you guys are refusing to help me, as you guys have done years, in, in, in a conspiracy, that's a felony charge. You just can't treat a human being like that in this country. There's consequences for it, and it's a felony. Would you people like have yet to, to get provide it. you with the uh, 
phone number for the pay, for the I, I already called them. I just would wish that I had was treated like a normal human being, and I, you guys have refused, refused to do this. I you will not. Do you feel period. like we're treating you with disrespect right now? I just feel like um, I'm being antagonized, and the, right. their so services are being sabotaged in a conspiracy, which is so in charge. Shatana and I, do you feel like we're doing that? I, well, when I was telling you how discouraged I was, you did interrupt that. The psychologically abusive to disregard someone that yeah. had just was trying to communicate it. Communicate they feared their life, and that's exactly what the social worker and director did. When I said I feared my safety, they said that they wanted they interrupted and said that they were going to hang up the phone for me not feeling safe, and that's why I don't feel safe. Churches conspire with abuse, so each environment that I'm in, they're enlisted to be abusers, so I don't get any uh, compassion or support. That's toxic. You know, we're trying to provide you with the help that we have, the resources that we do have. A part of that is we have to finish this assessment first, as well as your treatment plan. So we're trying to take care of that part first. Okay. And then we can move on to referrals that we Well, can. it hasn't happened for six years plus, so hopefully I, you can think well, of something. Tiana, tell me, when was the last time you spoke with your parents? My parents are deceased. I don't know why you needed to ask that. They don't normally ask that. I get a lot of psycho, um, low key psychological abuse. This stranger on the bus, I said, How are you doing? She said, How's your parents? I said, What? I recorded it, but I had to delete the video because I didn't think people would believe that someone could set up something like that. Yeah. So, Kim, do you have any siblings or are you on the phone? You need to know about my siblings for this stuff. I have I'm a sister. trying to get to know who I'm, you are. Every I'm, um, I'm not, you haven't spoken with my family, they're afraid to be around me. They, when I try to tell them what I'm going through, they hang up. They will not be a support system, period. If I think I care. And that's what I, and that's where I was getting at. So thank you for clarifying that. Yeah, I'm estranged from them. All family. Even my kids. The one that's I'm younger. I have a younger one that's 14, and she witnessed my foster arrest experiment in terror, and blatant lies have been um, told, and a lot of government officials have racked up charges to keep me away from my child, I believe, for profit. And I have been reporting it and reporting it, and all people in my environment cover for it, even at church. They just let me sit in it. So I miss my daughter dearly, and I have tried everything that I can, but the police department won't get out of my business enforcing crimes. For me to get anything done. Is there anyone in your life that you feel like is supportive? They, as far as getting out of the domestic violence crisis and getting sure. advocacy, um, I don't have a support system in that. No one will be a support system to get help me get consequences and give, give me direction on what to do to combat the corruption. If I have someone that has helped me, they eventually will retract on help. I think that they're listening to me on the listing what's going on on my phone and any kind of help, um, they interrupt it. And then they enlist people to not only not give me help, but conspire with psychological abuse. To make, to, so I'm tortured psychologically trying to get help and antagonized. They want it to sting that I ask for help. And you have not been to the hospital in the past 30 days at all, or in the past two years. I was um, detained February for trying to get help at one safe place, February 9th. I had just got out of jail on February 8th, and they detained me within 24 hours. And then stole my clothes. And, and when me. was that? February 8th of 2023. 20, I got out of jail, and they detained me February 9th, one day after I got out of jail on cross charges. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I go back because I need to write it down. Okay. Uh, and they all, all MHMR employees, all of them could care less, period, about my situation. I do care. And try to um, distract, um, redirect the conversation into me not getting services and support. That's not, well, right now we have to get these assessments done. I'm just explaining that what I've been through and I just have not had any kind of accountability for staff misconduct. I just haven't been heard. Right. Plus you. You're being heard. Absolutely, you're being heard. Hey, Kiana, we're trying.
trying to help you. We are. I know we've never met. But don't you think it's a little unfair to paint us with the same brush as maybe previously? From the conversation that you, this conversation is abnormal. When you tell someone that you were violated and arrested trying to have access to your child, and then you gaslight them and then blame them for your inability to have compassion and know that that is toxic and sadistic for the government to abuse power and do that. All MHMR staff have not uh, 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 real, recognized that and have not had compassion but wanted to gaslight and blame me for their, their repetitive behavior and denying services and cover, trying to conceal clients and gaslighting me in the process. Yeah, have, we, so, have we lied to you or gaslit you? I'm just not understanding why the, you are emotionless when you hear that police abuse their power and my daughter was keep, uh, has been kept from me. She witnessed my father with screaming and terror. I would like to be around people that know that that is a pro very problematic mm -hmm. and no human being should experience that, but it's very hard for me to find them, which make, it scares me. It scared me before COVID. So, but I can't find people that are disturbed by government officials abusing power and taking someone's child away for profit, oh, then terrorizing the lady, even trying to get mental health treatment to combat and to deal with the torture campaign she has had to endure. Someone has even abused power to interrupt that too. So now when I go try to get therapy, it's toxic and they have intimidation, they have security, and then they have two people and then claiming this, you know, whatever law they can think of on how to sabotage the services at NHMR. So I can't even get com um, therapy to combat the torture that I've had to endure or compassion. So today, are you feeling like we're sabotaging it? I, I just don't know what we're accomplishing with my story to you. So you know, you're not in the... You're not, you know, saying that that is horrible. I can't believe they did that. We need to do something. Like I'm going to call and find out something that we can do. It hasn't ha happened for six years in any of my environments. So, therefore, these people have gotten away with felony after felony. They have racked up for themselves. You don't just take bribes and take someone's kids for profit. You just don't pass out money and then keep someone from getting treatment or compassion in all her environments. Love, therapy any kind of support system. You just don't abuse badges and guns year after year and do that. But yet and still, there's no, been no accountability for the insanity. So, um, I don't know, sir. And I think that in, interrupting someone's mental health treatment is really crossing the line. So and it has been done for six plus years. So do you want me to call Miss Alex to get an update? If you, whatever you have to do, ma'am, are you, you done with the I can dial the number for you. So you're not going to do the email? What I requested? I don't have her email address. Okay. I, I thought it was some kind of system that you use in-house. And to also, with other workers. I, it sounds that you want answers right now. So, again, you can her. Do, she, just whatever. She not be able to okay, if you, you have, we have to call, go ahead and call me. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do to combat her not wanting to go over my abusers, head, uh, do anything for my abusers who don't want to fight him or give me any kind of advocacy or information on how to fight him. She's covering for him and the police. Okay. So if she's covering for my abuser, what relevancy, how so will it Were you wanting us to call her? I don't know, know what to do because I keep communicating with you. You're a supervisor. She's a case manager that she was covering up for my abuser, and you guys are not astonished by anything that I'm reporting to you. It says that you're covering for it and antagonizing. So that's psychological we were... abuse and you know, pressing someone in the conspiracy and depriving them of service, they those that's charges. Kiana, in the meantime we're trying to figure out I don't know I, do I don't know how to get an advocate for six years. So we... people have expertise, <clears throat> they have degrees, have went to college and refuse to give me any information on how to combat my experience. Your supervisor, she's a case manager, and you guys refuse to tell me anything we're what I can do to get services and be treated like a normal human being. Not well, I don't know what to do. Okay. She's covering for my abuser. She said she's not going to go against him or the police. So the most we can do is pass this on to Paul, which we okay. be doing. Paul won't return my calls. He told me to go to the police to control combat MHMR staff misconduct. He said go to the police. And he, said he didn't even tell me that personally. He went through... Daniel told me he said that, and Daniel walks off when I ask him for help. He has given me no referrals. He claims he won't give me referrals or proper treatment because he don't believe Who that it's happening. Daniel? 
he needs to be my case manager with the act team. He's psychologically abusive. He demands that I take the, that phone, the phones he put in a different room, and when they put the phones in a different room, he's emotionally abusive and condescending and telling me that my experiences are delusions. Okay, Tiana, <clears throat> from previously before, I have a resource that I presented to you, but I also have a copy of it, and it is called the Texas Advocacy Project. Um, I don't know if you, if you want me to read it to you. Or you I, want to not, read it. I thought you were going to call Alex. That's what we, we were asking. Do you want us to call Alex or? You, I you just want, don't know what to do. Be? Yeah, you can call Alex, but I don't know what to do to combat people covering for my abuser. You we're don't know sure. how, what to do either? We're not sure how to, to do that for us. Okay. We can only that's, do we, that's why he's been getting away with felonies. No one does. We're, we're trying to do what we can right now. Uh, Is that 800? Yeah, 800. I'm sorry. Yeah, 800. So as for knowing what NHR Mark can do, it just can't be done. Good morning, Alex. How are you doing? This is probably at the homeless clinic. Doing just fine. I'm here with um, my support, <laughs> my supervisor, Christopher, as her well support. as hey, her support. as well as we have Miss Kenya Clark here in the office. So I'm going to put on speakerphone so she can ask you what she needs to ask you, and go from there. Okay. All right. All right. You're welcome. Hello, Alex. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing okay. Um, I'm just not really getting any kind of um, information on how to combat my situation, my domestic violence crisis, the abuser that has enlisted the police department. And I just, no one will tell me or give me any kind of advocacy or support, period. Okay, and so what would you need, what do you need from me? I don't, I don't know because I told them that you won't want me to know anything. As well as all my okay, environment. So, ma'am, I have already helped you by helping you with the police report. I have also am able to only help you with the um, application, the CDC application, which I did send in. Um, <clears throat> well, see, some advocates call the police and make sure that they're investigating things and, and get records and, and um, get the person information on how to combat if there is corruption or what they can do to hold their abuser accountable. But all my environments, period, even domestic violence organizations, cover for him. Even the Northern District Court, they bullied me and mistreated me when I tried to go in. No one has any answers forcing me to have to endure this situation year after year. Anytime I build anything up, they interrupt it with absolutely no consequences control. All my environments free and clear, clear from all felonies they wrecked up for themselves. So I don't want to have to go through this another six years. It is criminal, but no one is willing to go against this abuser that is supposedly not the abuser. Why would so many locations come for? I don't know how, much, how else I can help you out with Did that. Did you call the police that's... department? Did you call and see? Did we sit together and see what the um, results of the crime victims' compensation was? Did you give okay, me any so direction? I sent an application. I can provide you with the number, and you can call that. Did you Never tell me on how to combat the abuse from the abuser? How how you report okay. stalking sorry. and where do you, Alex? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. Alex, did you say you had a phone number to call? So yeah, I'm trying to. you Why does all people in my environment cover for the stalker? Did you tell me on how to combat stalking? Yeah. Did this happen at one yeah. safe place? Can you ask her one question at a time, please? You're going to ask her. Question. You're Please gaslighting me, sir. I no, started no, talking about the no, stalking, no. and then you took the phone and interrupted no, me. You're blatantly lying. If you're going to ask a question, can you you're trying to her? interrupt me communicating what's going on with the stalker. When Please I started talking about the stalker, you're just deflecting and sabotaging, gaslighting me for trying to get some consequences for stalking. Miss Kiana, this is abusive. If you would like to ask her a question, can you please let her respond? I asked her about the stalking, and then you grabbed the phone and then distracted and deflected. Do you want the contact number to follow up? On I'm asking her how to, what I need to do to protect myself against stalking, just like when I was on the phone with um, okay. Adrian so, and um, the other lady do you want to that allow her wanted to, to dismiss when I wanted to know how to combat the abuse. Okay. So, Can I freely ask her about the stalking yeah, without you taking the phone and interrupting? Okay. So he did not want me to communicate with you like a lot of parties when I asked you about the stalking, you didn't want to tell me. What I need to do to protect myself if all victims advocates cover for him. Yeah, no, what is that? Let her respond. 
You're asking this is her. a psychologically abusive. Okay. I, do you have to be in here? Do I have rights? Ma'am, if you would like, I can go ahead and set up an appointment with you and we can, we can talk do you, about Do I have that? rights? Do you have to be in here? I'm sticking with I'm you. I'm asking him. I need to get this. Yeah. This is traumatic. This is traumatic. She's trying this to get you to stop me. Hey, I have rights and yeah. I'm a human being. Yana, would you like me to leave? Yes. That's what I want to get done. Yes, I'd like to set up an appointment. Okay. Um, I don't need to be so tortured <laughs> and violated in our environment. Available? I'm sorry? When are you available to me? Um, what about Friday? Yes, uh, Fridays are very difficult for me. I, am ba I have back to back group sessions. So What's I'm a good day for you? What's a good day for you? Um, I can meet you tomorrow. Um, what time? Um, why don't we say like um, 10 o'clock? Um, tomorrow's my wash day. Um, can we do it any er um, earlier? I can't do it earlier because I already have an appointment at 8.30. Okay, what about Wednesday? Um, when I can, unfortunately, I'm in training the rest of the week. So the only day that you have on the whole week is Tuesday? For this week, yes. Okay. And the what earliest you can do is 10? Tomorrow. The earliest you can do is 10? The earliest I can do is 10. Okay. So she has to meet in a group again? Mm -hmm. So they get to antagonize, torture me, okay. do the torture campaign, okay. and then blame me for their bad behavior. I have to be um, with that. They have to be accompanied by someone because I'm just this okay. abusive you know, you can, when they are continuing me to right, psychological right. abuse and deny me social security, which is a felony, right. which have yet to be addressed. Okay. And earlier, it's deliberate psychological abuse in multiple different environments. Sometimes they just blatantly lie so they can be listed as psychological abuse. Oh, here tomorrow at 10. Before next appointment. Okay. Talk about that with no housing. One of the things that you want, that you're wanting, and the progress, how do you feel you're progressing toward housing? See, here's the problem, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. In all, all of them, mm -hmm. my environments, I'm left to do everything on my own. Yes. They want me to know all of my environments, including the shelter I'm at now. All of them do not tell me about any services that they offer, period. So you I'm not be able to communicate. I'm just communicating like, right now and you're saying so. No, no, so and you're saying no so no one is is talking on your behalf. So what I'm hearing is that you would like for everyone to or the case manager would have me to do every step for you. Okay, so just for what a for example. Uh huh. Most people, uh -huh. then they say, their case managers say, okay, um, Garland has an open waiting list. Let's put you on Garland or so and so. Like you talking about case, like MHMR case manager. MHMR other case manager. How can okay. I put you on the housing, uh, MHMR case manager, how can I put you on a housing or any client, I'm just saying, any client on a housing or say Arlington housing waiting list when I don't work for Arlington housing? Okay, so when this first first started, uh -huh. um, Akia had um, information because that's what they do. They have was Akia. She's uh, with MHMR. Okay. She had apartment complexes that she knew that went by the income. Uh huh. So she said she was going to give me an apartment. Then the police detained me on a blatant lie, uh -huh. and I could not get the apartment. Okay. So when this first started, there were people that had positions in housing. Mm -hmm. And they're they're educated, and multiple different parties have said that MHMR has been uh, helped assisted them get housing, but they people blatantly lie to me about our program. So I'm gonna tell you what I, what I was trained on as a case manager at MHMR. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, can I explain something real quick? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is psychologically abusive is for six years you to be for a human being to be so desperate and wanting help and you people, want housing. Yeah. And people antagonize and withhold education and information. So we have already, you have already addressed that. We have, you had said you were going to check on the housing, and it is what two or three weeks, almost a month later, and you still don't know anything about it. The housing case manager. I just, I'm not the housing case manager. Are we, are, I, I, who so is the housing case manager? For so again, in order to obtain about the housing, 
between MHMR, you would go to True Worth. They have a housing case manager. They do the assessments at True Worth. You check in. So you want me to leave MHMR? Because that's the Go to True Worth. You you want the information? I'm providing you with the information. I don't. I I'm think that MHMR has their own housing case manager. But other people didn't have to do that. You have to. But I've already done work. that because MHMR won't help me for six years plus. I've already done it because you guys won't help. Period. And kept lying with no absolutely no consequences and doing that in conspiracy is a felony charge. I'm once not again. I'm trying to lie to you. I'm providing you the information. Well, and then you, you guys make this six hundred so toxic because my if you think it's an emotional high, I'm tormenting the human being, and he does this in all my environments. Like at church, they have the security, the police officer come around the corner, mm -hmm. so it's intimidating. But who wants their abuser controlling all of their environments? What about where I'm staying, where she said something happened and didn't, and was yelling at me like she was mentally ill? She said you do this, you did this, and so many people do it, just blatantly lie to have a reason for yelling at me and disrespecting me, and it don't even happen. But too many people are mentally ill doing this. Someone's planning yeah, it. And I know it's not realistic. I don't know. Your case it. manager with mental yeah. health. And that's I'm not. telling you, I'm pouring my heart out to you as I've been doing MHMR six years. And all you guys is condone and conspire with it for six years plus. I can so what I'm, edging, I'm telling you, I want, I want people to be honest. To the police department. They're not going to do it. Period. Okay, ma'am. I can't make you know. As a MHMR case manager. I cannot reprimand anyone else. But I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what you can do because you refuse to tell me. I've told you several times. You just said they're going to give you references. Where does the, where's the family reunification program that we talked about? The job program, the housing social worker, for the as housing case manager. For as employment services. Housing case home. manager, housing case manager. True what work. happened? True okay, work. so you want me to leave MHMR? True Other work. people didn't have to do that. Yes. I've already done yes. that. Okay. True work. That is the I already did it because you guys don't help, period. I I, okay, I so as far as the family reunification program, right. I've been looking it up on on the internet and I gave you a number. No, you did I, not. You're no. mistaken. I did not get a I number. Will print you kept redirecting the conversation. You did not you. give me that number, man. Period. I will print it out for you again. Okay. And look it up on the work information gateway. It was one of the places. Reunification of family. I believe I had said before. I'm not that. being heard. MHMR has a family reunion. MHMR has services, but that you refuse to give me and I, blatantly I lie anything. over and over again. I am looking for MHMR database for a reunification of family services. I found uh, several of them, government entities, on Google. However, for as MHMR services, I don't see that in the database for it. It's been a lot now. I see I people have yet to get that fellow me. It's not my fault. It, it, it is on my channel. I'm now I'm saying that MHMR has antagonized me, contributed to psychological abuse, I'm not tormented sure. me, lied about services over and over again. If I'm going to come into MHMR reporting that I'm getting violated and I'm emotional, and then in MHMR chooses to abuse their power and use it to torment and antagonize someone, well, there has to be consequences for that in a conspiracy. Calling someone on your day off to torment them when you or they have finally got enough courage to leave the house and go to the lake and have a picnic. MHMR staff calls that individual and antagonizes and argues with them on their day off demanding a TV, a small TV that I was given. Then she demanded it back on my day, her day off when I was at the park enjoying myself at the lake. So what I'm trying to establish is that MHMR staff has chose to abuse their power and not assist someone in mental health treatment, but antagonize them and torment them with their power. That's consequences for that during that six years. But people have yet to get it. If you guys have been on lockdown for a long time, it's not going to happen if people get accountability. It hasn't happened in six years. You you have, will not will not give me services, period, outside of the minimal for the campaign. So I can't stop it. I've already talked to Paul Duncan. He won't call me back. He said go to the police. The police department setting it up. Absolutely no accountability. Can't even get mental health treatment in peace for six plus years. Even in mental health treatment. I just why I'm robbed of it there. They are torment and antagonize and violate those people. Blatantly lie and then say it's delusions when they get caught in their lives. Have you had your medication yet from the pharmacy? No.
So you have your appointment to see the. To see yeah, the, and it's pretty rough yeah. with her. I don't know if I need to go because she's suffering from the abuse. It was just a waste of time. I just get psychological abuse to see the party appointment. The toxic. And then whenever I come here, my stomach turns because I know that people are scheming to cause psychological abuse and torment and scheming to deny private services. So, so I, I'm not able to report to case managers. I can't get therapy. I'm not able to report that when I come in this office and have dealing with MHMR, I know it's going to be toxic because people abuse their power to torment. And it's I'm not abusing my power. I can't your, report your, that. Your, that your I'm referral to for cognitive behavior therapy, internal referral, it will be completed. As well as I'm going to provide you with some other resources for uh, Okay, okay, thank you. Because this is traumatic. Okay. You have your so, environment blatantly lying in your conflict, but it's closing the door on you, and all kinds of things. My family hanging up in my face, and I tell them, try to tell them I'm tortured. I can't call them now, though, do this. But they were in tears doing it in the past. Can't tell the therapist because people keep scheming, so I can't get therapy in all my environments. Can't go to churches, police departments there, to do uh, threatening that I can't come back to the church if I report crimes happening to me there. And all other churches I go okay, to. Okay, that's going to get you. Uh, I don't know. I can't, tell my, I can't tell my problems to MHMR. They're disregarded. No compassion enough for six years. I, I thought in HMR is where you told how, how communicated how with people, but to the staff here, cover for it, no, antagonize oh, yeah. and violate. Do, would you like to make it a point where you can sit and talk all day? I just don't understand why I'm getting violated. If you heard my story, man, as I've been getting violated six plus years with you guys, why you abuse your power to conspire with torment and uh, 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 torture campaign? Why do the employees abuse their power? What are the consequences if you guys are caught in a conspiracy doing this? Torture government witnesses, what are the consequences for that? For you allowing yourself to be bought off to antagonize and torment a government witness and deprive them of all services to escape the abuse. What happens when you're caught doing that? Okay, you said something for counseling, the mission of sex activity. Yeah. So this is where you go to the family reunification program? I, I want to know about the paperwork. Because this happened last time and you thought that you had the family reunification program in there and you did not. This is one that's talking about fa uh, family advocacy. But and here's the problem. The family reunification was with uh, MHMR. Not, not an outside not source. Not that information. What is do not use the website? That is the Tex website. This is for one one place, the Texas Advocacy Program. All this is just for them. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Legal services. What is this for? Yes. This you just said it. Texas. Oh, this okay. Is, this organization. Oh, all of this is for the Texas I Advocacy. I don't work for that organization. Okay, and nothing, I can't get anything that you guys do, period. It just can't be done in six years. Can we go ahead and get the We've information already been through for this the council? Yes, ma'am. Can we go ahead and get the, the information for the council? So that's all you, you do in MHMR. <laughs> I can't get the housing case manager again. It's the, the, we've waited True a long time. And, oh, and yes, request to speak that. to the housing case manager. True I've already done sure you're yeah, back you guys want to do it here. But people, other people get it done here. Okay. Don't forget your umbrella. Thank you. He's still here, huh? So intimidating someone trying to get services is what these supervisors do. I thought that was criminal. Having security and other people in gaslighting me. I, I, I don't. You said your support. You said that was your support because it's normally intimidation. You just have to sit in it. Then no, no account of just it, it. Oh my goodness, nothing. MHMR is bought off and paid for and on a leash. <laughs> I, I can talk to Kingdom Come. They are not up in these services or help. I will not, period, get treated like a human being. I want to be in my class time.
Okay, I'm leaving again. You want to know how you can help here? We completed your assessments. You're picking up your medications. Providing you with some resources. That's one for the uh, another a program that we found on. Right, but it said on a pay uh, that you offer a family reunification program, but you guys receive services, and I can't stop you from doing it. We do not have family reunification services here. At, you don't have plenty. Place. You're not giving me any services, period. Okay. So that just you're medication. You're not. And um, what about if you want to? If you want to see Miss Alex, that's tomorrow. For as the finding affordable therapy, I will make the internal referral. You said you did it last time. That was the employment one, and because they made one in, in February, I'm going to resubmit it again. We can submit it as many times as we, as we can. Okay, it was one done February 13th for cognitive behavior therapy, as well as here are a list of other affordable therapies so that you can go and talk about. You know, the everyone does it. If you it makes your mom won't give me services, how am I going to get it at these other the, locations? If this it's is impossible canceled, for me to get I'm, services, I'm not, here, I'm not, I'm not, not able canceled. to speak. I'm not if you're my case manager and I'm telling you it's impossible for me to get services that have been in six plus years, if I can't get it with these here people, and that's your job, how am I going to get it at these this places? This is a four. That I'm not sure. You I'm not going to. Them. If you won't do it here, it, it I'm not a counselor. They're 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 a counselor. they are they do the same thing. Hey, okay. I call so all the time, and they deny me service for six plus years. I've I'm already sorry. been through this rodeo. Okay, so housing, the scan in, uh, housing assessment, scan in parts, and these are the locations. True worth is on here. There. Yeah, but no, as for being treated like all other people, in, I'm not gonna get it with them next year. And like other people are, do. Okay. Um, a list of affordable properties, just so you can start looking and researching. Okay, it's other people that got it here, but you guys are refusing that. The housing case manager is having six plus years. Housing. Please go to True Birth, okay? And ask to speak to the Not in Not in Okay. That company needs to go ahead. Why would it change? No consequences. I thought you were going to pick up your medication. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, Leilai, what the supervisor's release for is to help antagonize and torment. It's for the intimidation. Prove that we're doing it on purpose. So, she said that it was her support. They're making it gaslighting me when they're committing crimes. So it's just the, the amount of gaslighting that I have to endure in all my environments. Like at the place that I'm at now, this lady has behaved like she was mentally ill and accused me for things that did not happen multiple different times. She said, I told you to come and you didn't come and it never happened. And, you know, I at first thought, well, maybe they're just off. No, it's a deliberate. This man has a fetish for psychological abuse and he enlists all my environments in the conspiracy. So when he feels like he needs his fix, he just calls them, tells them to stage conflict and start an argument like at church. The conflict is staged with the police officer. So now I can be mistreated at church with their, um, there's conflict because I recorded them, the church not helping me like all churches have done for six plus years. So since I've recorded that, now they have a problem with me and I'm never getting the help that I wasn't getting initially. I've asked people to help and no one has commented on the torture that they have seen that I had to endure at church and no one has said anything, given me any advice for a remedy, given me an attorney that works there, any kind of legal advice, it has not happened. And in fact, at all environments that I'm uh, in. And once again, doing this as a conspiracy is a felony charge. So what I have to do now, because the government's controlling my phone, I have to go find a place where I can upload the videos because they have taken that over too. And on my primary de device, it won't even record videos. It keeps saying um, storage is full. So they have just robbed me of that device and taken over that device. Nothing done. So when the pastor said, I want to talk to you, so you kind of get, you know, is he going to help me finally? So you have that in your stomach, and then the police comes out the shadows, and you get threatened to that you can't even come to the church anymore. So you would say, why don't you just move churches? All churches do it. So, I, I mean, these are crooked people that are controlling churches, and the churches allow themselves to be controlled by people they know are crooked. That's who's running, Ava. Just, just stop. Who's going to believe you? Set up her phone's up, don't do it. Her phone's up. So I don't feel felony after unaddressed felony. You know, who's just a black lady? 
black lady or nobody. So we can terrorize her just to church, just to help us get away with our felonies. Okay, we'll do it. AMHMR, don't you help her, period. In fact, every family, don't you help her either. And we want to be sadistic. You hang up in her face. You, when she tells you what you're good, what she's going through, you're her child, you hang up. Well, you're her bl blood sister. When she tells you, try to tell you what we have done to you, done to her, you just hang up. We're, we are the law. And we can continue to break it. Who's stopping us? There's another one coming. It's time for me to cross the street. They know I'm upset with their conspirators. But who wants to have law enforcement like behave like Denzel Washington in training day? I've said this before COVID and it's completely unaddressed. I've been here a while trying to get in. They just set up petty things like this. The police department used to have the plate locations put me out. Blatantly lie or in schemes. You put her, they put me out at Austin Street because I looked both ways to make sure no one was coming in the hall. Put me out for asking for a cookie in the food line. Put me out for getting shoved. They did not follow protocol and punish me, the person that was getting violated, trying to get to my bed. They, they just violated me and no, no, no. who ha is caring about this? So just trying to get to my bunk, getting tortured in whole big old uh, big environments. So just trying to get to my bed. She pushed me and almost had me fall. I said, can you please, this lady is harassing me when I try to get to the bed. They put me out. Then I got put out one, early, putting on makeup one morning. I was in the bathroom by myself. Someone came in to use the bathroom. Um, they uh, uh, notified Miss Johnson that I was in there putting on makeup. And Miss Johnson um, the, um, did her index finger, like, come here, and then put me out. Nothing had happened. But it was an unspoken rule that I was not allowed to put on makeup there. So I got up real early in the middle of the night and she um, put, told me to go outside. She made me go outside. I wasn't dressed for the weather. I was just putting on makeup and then was going to put on my clothes. She forced me to go outside, threw all my things outside for putting on makeup. Who's doing anything? Then my phone came up missing in front of Miss Johnson. No one would review the camera footage and who saw, saw who stole my phones. I've had multiple different phones stolen and it appeared that staff was doing it or security. Just nothing done. So I'm not allowed therapy. I'm sorry. I guess I'm venting. So again, stalking is supposed to be a crime, but not if you're the police department. He got to set up pity. They need to know where I'm at second for second. So they won't lower the bus so the bus driver can close the doors on me, all of that sort of thing.